Did you know that Procreate comes with over 200 different brushes right from the bat? Combining that with all the different colors, you get a million different choices. Now, if you're like me and you do not want to get bogged down by the sheer amount of possibilities and having to try them one by one and waste all your time, then this video might be for you. I'm gonna share with you my five favorite brushes that I use 80% of the time in all of my work. Hey, what's up legends? My name is Stefan Kunz and I'm a hand lettering artist from Zurich and I love pizza. Also, I think I do get distracted really easily. But while we're on this topic, let me know in the comments below which is your favorite pizza topping. So let's get back to the actual topic. I love hand lettering and hand lettering is all about using real pens and paper to draw. But this can get quite messy and sometimes you just do not have enough time to use all these tools. So I love to use Procreate, a app on the iPad that allows me to draw on a digital device right away and have all these different brushes, colors right at my fingertips without having to carry all these different pens. Now Procreate comes loaded with 200 plus brushes. You can create your own and even buy a lot of other third party brushes. So you can spend hours trying to figure out which one is the best for you. And trust me, I've been there. I've gone through them all one by one and have tried them all. Since I love lettering with physical tools, all my favorite brushes have been inspired by real ones. All right, brush number one, Stefan Kunz Pencil. So this one is modeled after my favorite tool that I use all the time. It's the pencil. The actual pencil, it's an HB pencil that is readily available everywhere. You can find it and you can draw anything with it. You can see people using it to create these massive, amazing, beautiful portraits. You can just use it for sketching, for whatever. But the beautiful thing about this pencil is the texture. I love how rough and how textured it is. It flows really well. It's a great way to fill out words, to still make it look like it's a sketch and then you can use the digital design to place it on top of a mock-up and make it look like you actually drew it on paper even though you actually just used a digital brush. Now brush number two is my sketch brush. It's a brush that I've been using for a lot of my designs to start designing something. It's modeled after the brush pen. It has a thin or thick tip and uh, you can really use it with your pressure sensitivity. It also works really fast, so uh, it flows really well, it works really fast, and that's one of the most important things. I love to work fast and efficient, and if there's a tool that is stopping me or holding me back, then I need to disregard it and move to another one. So this tool here is really made well to sketch at a fast pace, but also to use it for a finished design, and it has still some little specks in it that makes it really uh, texturized at the end, even though it's filled out. Brush number three, it's the paintbrush. The paintbrush is a whole set actually that I sell on my online shop. I created that one myself. I love to use these paintbrushes such as the Posca pen and I've kind of modeled this after this one. It always has this kind of wet texture. It flows really well. It has a nice glossy finish tip and you can go over it many times. It will blend really well those colors. So whether you're using it in black and white or with colors, it really creates a nice mix. This brush also makes something really digital look really uh, authentic and real. So that's something that I love to use in a lot of my designs. You can find that actually on my Instagram page. So brush number four is a soft brush. This one you'll actually find in your Procreate library. And it's a great brush to use to fill out some surfaces, to color these in, or to even create gradients. I love to use this one as well, just because the size of the brush is actually massive and it's easy to fill in a whole surface really fast or create a beautiful gradient. Brush number five, that's one that you cannot miss in your toolkit, it's the fine liner. It's something that I use to draw out the contours of shapes and letters that I've drawn and I sketched out, and it's always there to finalize a piece. Mostly when I do client work, the last step that I will do is really retracing all these letters, making sure that they are sharp, that I have strong edges, and this fine liner really helped me to do that. It's a monoline brush, it doesn't have any pressure sensitivity, and it also comes straight away with Procreate. So these are my five favorite brushes. I use them in 80% of all my work that you would see online on Instagram. Even though I have so many different choices, I really only stick to these five, except maybe if I'm using the grid builder or letter builder, but these are mostly to draw letters. 
Now, four of these brushes, you can get them for free. The two ones that are already in Procreate, the soft brush and the monoline, but you can also get the Stefan Kunz pencil and the Stefan Kunz sketch brush. The two brushes that I use probably the most are available for free by signing up to my newsletter. You'll find the link in the description below and you can sign up to the newsletter, get all the news for free and get a sample pack of all my favorite tools. The paintbrush, you can get that one in my shop by getting the paintbrush bundle. It's There are six different brushes for only $12, so that makes it like $2 a piece. So it's a steal and you can get those in the shop, link below. Now, you, you gotta ask yourself, if I have 200 brushes in Procreate, why have I created my own? Now, I'm a freak when it comes to that. I am really trying to get the most efficient brush that I can use all the time. Like there's always something that bugs me about some brushes that I'm using and I will always tweak them. The brushes that I've mentioned here before are all brushes that I've tweaked over time and for the last probably year or so haven't touched a bit because I'm really happy and excited just of how they look and how I can use them all the time. I cannot wait to see what you create using those brushes in Procreate. Don't forget to use the hashtag drawwithstefan on Instagram to share these posts with me. Tag me in them on Instagram, on your Instagram stories. Let me know what you're creating because I am excited to see you guys create. And finally, if you wanna see the teaser for the next video, check this out. my favorite Procreate hacks that will help you and save you a lot of time. If you don't want to miss that video, subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell so you won't miss it. And if you enjoyed this video, why don't you share it with a friend? And also, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.